Good morning, everybody. May 18th, 2018, 6.50 a.m. Very quick video for you this morning. Uh, we do have a pretty significant storm system moving over Nebraska as we speak that will be moving into Iowa and the northern areas of Missouri. Lots of lightning involved with this storm, clearly, as we can see it live right in front of us. Uh, some spotty storms over Texas. Uh, the two main topics we're going to cover in this short video are Kilauea, actually a major eruption um, about 9 to 10 hours ago, 30,000 uh, 30, foot ash cloud shot straight up into the air. Um, yes, this is a CNN website. Sorry, um, it just has the best visuals that I can use for now. Um, they've been giving out ash masks uh, to anyone that is within, I believe, a 10 mile radius of the island, 5 to 10 mile radius of the island. Uh, they've given out 18,000 of these things. They do not protect against the uh, poison gases, though, unfortunately, that are associated with a eruption like this. So uh, things are getting pretty uh, tacky in Hawaii um, as far as the earthquakes go, as far as this eruption goes. Um, they're even now talking about a bigger eruption um, in the very near future only because of the level of activity that's been going on. We have two separate areas right now. We have this area here and then we have this area and they keep, they sort of alternate. They want to switch. One gets active for um, 9 to 10 hours and then the other side gets active for 9 to 10 hours. And then we'll get a stretch of earthquakes out in the ocean here. And then usually right after that is when we get one of those plumes out of the volcano itself. So they're actually trying to nail down some sort of pattern here of what's going on. I believe there's about 22 to 23 fissures open right now. Uh, some worse than others like we've spoken about. But still, this is a, this is a situation that we have not uh, seen in the news or on TV or really dealt with. Um, most of us in our lifetime as far as uh, the seriousness of the situation in Hawaii. So I want to dedicate an actual video, um, a long-winded video describing start to finish how this began, uh, what caused uh, the issues to begin with, if we even have an actual answer, uh, rather than just doing these quick daily updates. So, But that's what we're doing for today because of our time uh, restraints, I guess you can call it that. Anyway, our severe weather today for the continental U.S. We do have flash flood warnings all in South Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Virginia, all the way down to about uh, uh, South Carolina. Uh, that green you see there is flash flood warnings. Uh, you can see where we just saw the lightning storm in Nebraska. There are f uh, flood watches and flood f flash flood warnings in effect, obviously. We do have a moisture system moving down from basically the Pacific Ocean, uh, through the border of Canada, Oregon, Washington, uh, you name it, coming right down through Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, and that is going to be its own low pressure system right as it gets to um, just the east of Colorado, I want to say. So we're going to be watching this system as well, and also 7 to 10 days, basically every single model is showing for a tropical situation to uh, make itself known in the Gulf. So you can see here the KLY Strong 9 that we use, the Tropical Intensity Index, is showing a very favorable area in the Gulf of Mexico. Um, that is not just the only place that's showing that. We are looking at um, the TCFP graph as well as showing very favorable um, conditions for the tropical wave situation. That does not mean there will be a hurricane, even though when we look on sites like Ventu Sky, and uh, tropical tidbits, they are showing uh, literally a full-blown hurricane by May 24th, May 25th. Also, pretty interesting situation. Actually, let's look at this. This is the FV3 GFS model. Once again, a little bit change of a pattern here, but still, same situation. They're calling for this tropical uh, cyclone wave to form right underneath Cuba. And they think it's going to shoot the gap, and it's going to go into the Gulf. What happens then is anyone's guess, because every eight hours this uh, projection wants to change. We had this thing beelining into Houston. Now we have it kind of hooking back down into Mexico. One model had it coming up into the panhandle of Florida. One had it going right through Louisiana. So anything five days out, we need to really take with a grain of salt. So uh, with that said, uh, that is really all that I have time for today. We do have two random buoys going off, I noticed. Uh, in Asia, one in the, I guess, the Sea of Africa, we can actually look at it on Google Earth. You can see both of these buoys are going off currently. There have been no major earthquakes in this area. This is the uh, Arabian Sea here, so we have one buoy going off in this area, and another buoy going off in the Bay of Bengal, uh, which is very interesting because there has been no major movement in these areas, so I'm curious as to what's causing these buoys to be set off. Both of them are set off. If we look at our earthquakes... 
and we back out, you could see there were two earthquakes within the within a thousand miles, I guess you could say, but certainly not big enough to really set off those buoys. 4.2 and a 4.4 um, a while ago. We're talking hours, so we have buoys going off here randomly. So I guess we'll keep an eye on that and see what's up. So that is your basic update for today, guys. I wish I had more time to talk with you this morning. Got to get to work. Obviously, this is our mimic chart showing some of our rotation that is beginning to form in the South Caribbean. You can see how dense it is down here. You can see how we're starting to get that counterclockwise rotation. That is the rain that just came through Florida. And then we have this new wave coming up the west coast of Cuba through the gap by Cancun. And then we need to really watch this. All right, guys. Everyone have a great morning. We will touch base again this afternoon, if not too much. Tomorrow morning. Have a great day. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.